Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Jabber. This is gonna be a very quick video. I'm gonna show how to make a virus um, from Notepad. Very easy, very simple. Uh, some people wouldn't really consider it a virus because really, what viruses do is sorry about that. So, what viruses do is you basically need something called a botnet, which you have to make. You send that to whatever computer you want. You send that to the IP of the computer you want. It overloads the computer to the point where the user can't use their their system and now you have access to the computer that's basically what a virus does but there's sort of different types of viruses so um what i'm gonna do is go in the description of the video and you go on a computer and you also need a, need a flash drive for this and um what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this code now this is not the normal computer i use i don't really have my computer that i, I, don't, I normally use so i don't have the coding on it but um it's really not that hard so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, go on your computer being very annoying. So go on your computer, go on this video, go on the description, and copy the code. Go on Notepad. What you're gonna do is you're gonna paste it. So you know that's the fucking code, whatever. All right. So you just paste the code. Now what you're gonna do is go to File. And you're gonna go to Save As. And this is where it's pretty important because if you don't do it, it's not gonna work. So notice that um, right here it says .txt and Normally, what you're gonna do is behind .txt, you're gonna put whatever name you want. So I'm gonna name it, name it virus, and it's gonna say .txt. So you don't want to say .txt, you want to say .bat, and you're gonna hit save. Make sure it's saved onto your flash drive. Uh, this can be a little different, but normally you have a little thing down here, and you're gonna um, click on the removal disk or USB, click on it, and then save it onto your flash drive because you don't want it to be on your computer because the whole point of this is to be able to plug it in someone's computer and just like fucking wipe everything off of it. So whatever name you want, doesn't matter. Make sure it has dot bat on the end of it. And you're good to go. Just, uh, you know, don't open it unless you're trying to fry your own computer. That's basically it. I know this sounds very, very sketchy, but it's not that hard. All you need to do is go in the description, copy the uh, code, paste it on here, and then make sure you uh, hit file, save as, make sure you save it onto your flash drive, make sure your name is .bat instead of .txt, whatever it's called. And then, uh, if you want to, you know, fuck up one of your friend's computers, you can uh, plug it in, run it, and basically what's going to happen is it's going to uh, go to the log off screen, it's going to freeze, and then the whole computer is going to shut down, or it should shut down. If it doesn't shut down, then it's just going to freeze there and you have to turn it off, and when you turn it back on, it's going to say system couldn't boot up. Boot up. Normally what kids do on these notepad, uh, you know, virus videos, air quotes, is there's something called CMD, which I'll make this very quickly, but it's called command prompt, CMD. Every single computer has it, even if it's an old Windows computer, but this is CMD. You can pull IPs from it, uh, website IPs, which you can use to boot them offline, or you can, um, uh, open applications on your computer so I could just type in certain commands and it would open things and it's a lot quicker than having to find it on your computer that's basically what CMD is but there are commands you can use to reset your computer and wipe everything off of it what kids do is they'll go into notepad they'll type in um, type in a um, <coughs> they'll type in a CMD command line it's not even really coding it's just commands and uh, what happens is when they when they save it in notebook or notepad and they hit .exe I think that tells it when you, when you click on it that tells it to open cmd and when it opens cmd the uh, commands in notebook it gives the commands to cmd and uh, it just you know basically resets your computer it factory resets it and people call it a virus because you can still save that onto a flash drive but it's kind of stupid because they think they think they they think they know how to do hardcore coding when really they're just you know typing in a command in notebook and when you hit on it it tells it to open CMD it gives the CMD the commands and just resets your computer this does not do that this literally wipes everything off your computer it even wipes the software off of it so this is I'm using Windows like seven I think so some some something like that uh, if, if I were to plug in this virus boot it up on this computer it's gonna wipe off Windows 7 is going to wipe up everything. So if you also, if you saw the uh, MEMS virus, it's running computer with MEMS virus, that does not do nearly the same damage as this, the virus that I made does. All that does is when you, when you run it, 
a uh, little menu pops up and you can do a bunch of crazy things if you want to watch the video go on my channel and watch it you can do a bunch of crazy things and basically what happens is there's so much things going on at the same time your computer computer overloads and then just kind of freezes or turns off your software your info isn't really damaged it just kind of overloads itself and turns off it's kind of cool but you know uh, this virus is a lot more than that if you have any questions hit me up I don't know what, how good this will work for any of the new Windows, like if you're running Windows 10 or Linux or anything like that. This probably wouldn't even work on Linux if you know what that is. But again, this is very simple shit. Got any questions, comment down below. The computer that I used in my MIMS uh, virus video, that's not work, it's fried. <laughs> um, and it's so old. If I can find my other computer that's really messed up, then I will show you what it does to it. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm getting a new computer as well, so I might be doing videos on how to make a botnet, how to defend against the botnet, because there's a bunch of people on Xbox and PS that use botnets to hit you offline and destroy your system. I might show you how, 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 to, fit, how to defend against that, how to pull people's IPs and DDoS them offline on the next generations and the older generations of systems. And um, hopefully I can get that sooner to make those videos. Have any questions, comment down. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.